Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Coaches, the Jamoti Podcast is powered by Bology. Manage and measure your player's skill development and increase accountability year-round utilizing the Bology app. Boost inter-squad competition with drills backed by the National High School Basketball Coaches Association, including a 40-shot Bology skills assessment. Please visit Bology.com slash teams for information on how you can provide this resource for your team. Well, I got to ask, like right off the bat, I mean, you inherited a program that won in if if not the toughest conference, but one of the toughest conferences in the in the country, you inherit a program where you had a lot of players in and out. I think how how many did you actually have back on that team from the previous year? Two, two guys. Two. From the previous year. So yeah. bra- brand new team. I mean, what was it like walking into that? And you know, culture is a buzzword that's thrown out a bunch, but setting a culture where there really was none from scratch. What was that like? Well, man, it was great to start with a blank canvas. Yeah. Right. Uh, the two guys who stayed, uh, they wanted to be a part of something, something new and, and, you know, something exciting. We talked about winning, you know, and how that was, you know, everything we was going to do was going to be uh, could contribute to winning. And if you didn't get up every day and the decisions that you made wasn't about winning, then you were doing the wrong thing. And they, they understood that and they wanted to be a part of it. So then we were able to bring in guys that fit who we were about. So every guy on the team was, was our guys. It wasn't like we was coaching somebody else's guys. They were all ours. So yeah. uh, blank canvas w- was awesome. I tell you, it's funny. Um, on Monday was our first individual uh, for this upcoming year and walked in the gym. And there were six guys in the gym uh, and bodies. They look like big 12 basketball players and had a big smile on my face because, you know, the year before there were only two guys in there. (laughs) You tripled it it, coach in one year, man, man, it it was awesome. (laughs) It was awesome. (laughs) You know, I love that video uh, of of the the talk you had in front of your team about winning. It's been out on the internet, but when I, when I got it, when I saw it, I clipped it and I showed my guys because I think sometimes uh, I got, I'll have parents tell me, most of the time when they're upset that, you know what, you're just all about winning. Yeah, this program is only about winning. And and it was refreshing to see. I think the way that you used winning, uh, to me, it's a like it's it's like excellence. Yeah, we are gonna be about excellence with everything we do. And and winning is a part of that. But tell me what it was like just about kind of setting up that culture from the very beginning with winning. Well, you know, um, we talk about like winning a day, right? And if you can win the day and you stack those good days on top of each other, um, you know, that's how you get the results that you want on the court in life, academically, you know, just everything. That's how you do it. And so what does it mean to win the day? And so we, with us, it's about going one and oh, and not one and oh in the day, but in every aspect of the day, you know, did I get up on time? Right. Did I what did I eat for breakfast? Did I go one and oh for breakfast? Did I if it was a lift, did I go one and oh in the lift? Did I go one and oh in my individual? Did I go one and oh in study hall? Did I did I sit in the front of the classroom and take good notes and really stay focused in class? And did I go one and oh in that class? And there are some classes and or some aspects of the day where maybe you didn't go one and oh, but you know what you have to do is reset and move on to the next thing. And let's go one and oh in the next thing. Cause my definition of toughness is the ability to do the next right thing. And so we're always talking about doing the next right thing. And so that that's how we approach every aspect of the day. And if we can win, go more one and O's during the day, then we win that day. And then we stack those type of days on top of each other so that we can, like you say, develop those, those excellent, those habits of excellence. It's a great example of being processed based and, and focusing on what you can't control. Cause I would imagine if you walked into your situation a year ago and said, listen, next year, elite eight, that that's our goal. Like that, that's what we're shooting for. Even though it is national championship or state championship, like it is the goal. I mean, it's what we're all fighting for, but golly, it's hard to get there. And and if you, if you only focus on that, you skip the necessary steps with, I think with your mentality, 
you just basically, I mean, what do we want? We want our guys to not have regret and to really attack every day. And I think that one no mentality, I love that you say that after wins and losses on social media, because I've, yeah. I've, I've watched that coach. Like that's really special, man. Well, yeah, you know, it's, what's next, you know, what, what's next? Let's go one to no. And I actually said to the guys in that first meeting that next year at this time, we're going to be in the NCAA tournament. Um, if, but we have to do these certain things. And so it was, uh, you know, big picture, but how do we do it? What are the, the, the little steps that you have to take that are so important and you can't skip them? Yeah. And I think the one lesson I learned from you is to define what winning is and make sure that you actually do talk about that because there, there's this whole idea too, like don't talk about wins and losses. Don't talk about success, only focus on process, but it's, it's how you define winning. If winning is only games on the court, then yeah, maybe that's the side of winning that you lose out on the relationships. You lose out on the day-to-day grind. But to me, the way you're talking about winning is it's the process and it's how you do everything. It's not what you do, but how you do what you do. Yes. Yeah, most, most definitely. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.